Afternoon, everybody. Hope you are well. Welcome to Lakeside Classics. So I'm going to do a new mini series um, just for lives, and it's going to be a toy shop tour. So I'm lucky enough to visit a load of awesome showrooms of the partners we work with on the Nine Whites Marketplace. And there's always loads of goodies around, and I enjoy looking at these cars. I hope you do too. Uh, two bits of admin before we get stuck into that. The first thing is I have to film portrait because YouTube makes you. Um, so I can't do landscape, so that's not my fault. The second thing is addressing my barnet. So I've been driving a Boxster GTS uh, all weekend on a Nine Works Drivenot Hidden Collective tour of Wales. And uh, you can't drive a Boxster and not have uh, a terrible barnet to um, sport as a consequence. So apologies for that. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you the toys at Lakeside. One thing that's worth pointing out before we kind of go any further as well that and, and this is why we work with Lakeside on the, on the Nine Whites Marketplace. All of um, these cars are properly prepped and, and, and that really is a prerequisite for anybody we work with. So Lakeside Classics, if you're buying a car from here, it will come with six months warranty, it will come with 12 months MOT, it will come with a 90 point mechanical inspection taking place, it will come with all routine um, servicing and maintenance taken care of. So the whole idea is when you buy a car, you're getting in, you're turning the key and you're off driving, you're not inheriting a headache, okay? Because don't forget these cars, nobody needs to own them. We have Porsches because we wish to and the whole experience from the moment you view the car till you sell it should be fun and nothing else but. So hopefully with that sort of um, protocol in place, that will enable you to do exactly that, okay? So that's enough of me talking. Let's spin round and have a look at some of these cars for the toy shop tour at Lakeside Classics, okay? So you'd have probably seen this before when I've done lives on the channel 2.2S. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely car. I don't think Henry's in a rush to sell it, to be honest, and I don't blame him. Just absolute purity of the 911. 2.2S is a real favourite, isn't it? It's kind of the McQueen car, it's colloquially known as, really, the 2.2S. Uh, preceding the 2.4 that came along in, in 72. So early 1970s this, um, what's the best way to assimilate it? I guess it's kind of a, a GT3 of its time, really. It was the top of the range car. There was no RS at the time this came out. So yeah, it's, that's a, a really, really cool car and, and a great place for us to start because it's kind of original 911 really. And as you can see, as we go down, uh, there's lineage beyond that. So again, this car, 930 Turbo Targa, I've done a full feature length film on the channel with this. I think it's waiting for summer and then the right buyer to come along. You'll know a 930 Turbo Targa is extremely rare. You will have probably never seen one on the road because they are that rare. Again, the video that's elsewhere on the channel will tell you all the numbers behind it and why it's special. But that is a seriously, seriously cool car. Uh, next to it, so yeah, as I said, we've just got back with the Driven Not Hidden Collective on this tour around Wales. And I think of all the cars in the Lakeside showroom, this is probably the one I'd like to go off and do Wales in all over again. So uh, the initiated may well recognize it as an IROC RSR inspired backdate, okay? So IROC, International Race of Champions uh, racing series took place over in the United States where basically the racing drivers all had the same car, obviously different versions of the same car. I think there were 12, I think, from memory. Uh, and it was a shootout, really, over two races or two meets to see who the, uh, who the best driver was. Look at that awesome wide stance. Uh, so this car is a 964 back date. So I think that's worth pointing out that it's got all the awesome looks and it really does look absolutely awesome. It's in blood orange, by the way, of a black interior. Uh, the build process to get it looking like this is 30 grand, all documented with receipts. But it is a 964 base. So that means you get some niceties that you don't get uh, with when backdating with the uh, G series cars, things like power steering and ABS. Okay, let me just give you a poke around in there. I mean, look at it, it looks fun. It looks like it's ready to be driven on some awesome roads, okay? So that's the IROC RSR Evocation 
based on the 964. Uh, next to it, 903 Turbo. This one's not for sale. It's extremely low miles. Let's have a little look at it, a little peeky. Inside. Pretty flawless, to be honest. A bit of a time warp. As I said, not for sale here. Okay, so next to it, we're into water pumpers now. 996 Carrera 4S. Extremely low miles, 20,000 miles on this C4S. Super, super, super low. Regular viewers of the channel will know I think this is the best rear of any 911 ever. It's a real good looking thing. To be honest, it's not a bad view of all of four of those down the line there. Uh, but yeah, the spec on this thing is awesome, okay? So it's got full, oh, just, can I open it? No. Um, sport seats, carbon bits and pieces, if you can see on the dash on the center console, uh, PSE in there. It's an awesome spec. It's a real awesome spec. Black on black, and as I said, just 20,000 miles. It's been well cosseted all its life. It's a recent addition to Lakeside, actually. You can find more details on the website. Next to it, and I think that's Atlas Grey from um, like a flat black. So this is Atlas Grey. I'm not sure it picks up completely on the video. You'll be able to decide there. Uh, but yeah, 996 Turbo, so the legendary version of 911 Turbo, the first water cooled iteration, X50 pack. So that's basically a power kit. It boosted power from 420 to 450 horsepower. Uh, some people would kind of assimilate that as a Turbo S in all but name, really. Turbo S itself did get a couple of extra bits, but again, rare version, relatively low miles as well. It's a beautiful car, this. It presents really well. So if you're after a 906 Turbo with something a bit special, I vaguely remember it might have been taken off. I can't quite recall, but I do vaguely remember a cool X50 themed number plate coming with that. Uh, onto 992 in Guards Red. I'm afraid I don't know a lot about this. I'll have to ask Henry. But clearly been owned by an enthusiast previously, part of the 992 register of Porsche Club GB. Next to it, 991, uh, that's a Turbo S cab. I think that looks awesome, black on black. I mean, you'll know a Turbo S for 991 generation. Basically put everything on the car. 152 grand new these things were. I think, oh, the cab was a little bit more. The coupe was 152 grand new, plus options. But the reality is that not many options needed because everything's on it. A few carbon bits in there. But I mean, as a modern day, supercar that you can do anything in i think that is for me probably peak peak 911 and i'd probably have one of these over a 992 turbo s uh, equivalent a because of the size it's slightly smaller i mean compare that to the uh the 2s 992 there but slightly slightly smaller but also giving you 95 percent of 992 turbo s performance for a lot less really Here's a thought, so again, and apologies, I don't know too much about this 992. Uh, the details will be on the Lakeside website. That versus the red car. I think darker colours really suit the shape of the 992 quite nicely, to be honest. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, 997 Turbo Gen 2. ULES compliant, by the way, as an FYI. I think this is one of the best looking 911, certainly from the front. I did a video, like a feature film here recently on the Gen 1.5, uh, which is worth worth having a look. But the Gen 2 997 was the switch to DFI, 3.8 litre, uh, ditching the Metzger, some subtle updates on the inside. I think that's such a pretty 911. It's got bags of presents, but isn't over-roaring, perhaps in a way some of the more modern stuff is. I mean, look at it, it's a pretty thing. Comes with center locks, these were optional on the turbo. It was the Turbo S that got them as standard spec. And again, let's have a little look. Looks like there's some sport seats in there, some more carbon goodies as well on the trim. Great spec to some of these cars at Lakeside. Little look down my side there. Yeah, awesome, absolutely awesome. Ooh, check that out. Manual 991, Gen 1, so naturally aspirated, no turbocharging going on here. 
stick shift, so seven speed manual, it's not open. Sport wheel as well, sport design wheel. Really nicely judged what other bits and pieces got in there. Sport chrono by the looks of it. Burmester sound as well, so that's premium. So for the 991, the sound package, you either got uh, like just the entry level stuff, which to be honest is way for is pretty tinny. Um, then you had Bose as the upgrade, and then the upgrade on Bose was Burmester. Loads of speakers in there. It was basically a symphony orchestra inside there. Very cool. Uh, we've seen this before. Again, apologies. I have absolutely no clue with Jaguars. Um, so that there's, there's no value to me talking about that. 9 and 1 Turbo S Coupe this time. The size of those brakes. I think they're eight piston calipers on the front. Debuted on the 9 and 1 Turbo S. Another 992. 991.1 GT3. So again, I've done a feature film on this before. Um, your price has come down since I've driven it, to be honest. There is a price reduction going on. I s still think everything I thought on that video when I did it, actually, when, I, when we did the film, these are just awesome cars. There's definitely kind of buying anxiety for these cars generally in terms of the engine. Uh, this has got the engine warranty still in place. It's also uh, got Porsche warranty as well which, as I've said in the video, I think that's important. The Porsche warranty, so long as you renew it, it will protect you beyond the engine warranty. Absolutely awesome car. Quite like that, all in black, you know. Uh, but I said earlier on in the video, this toy shop tour, the RSR evocation is my uh, number one shout for a road trip tour through Wales. But if not that, if anybody would like to buy this for me instead, that would be lovely. So, Guards Red 997.2 GT3. 3.8 litre Metzger engine, motorsport goodness. Uh, this was for sale elsewhere recently. Lakeside have acquired it and spent a bit of money on it. And again, that's the difference really. I think that looks awesome. And again, these days, a pretty amicable and agreeable size for like fast road driving. It's funny because back in the day, it used to be the club sports, the clubbies, as they're colloquially known, that were kind of really sought after for the track work. People tend to shy away or not think so much of the GT3s with the sports seats. Uh, however, under the march of time where 997.2s aren't used as much on the track, because of course there's uh, faster stuff has come out of Porsche's GT department these days, uh, people are using these more sparingly, so certainly not for track day stuff but maybe fast road driving and therefore specs like this with the sports seats rather than the hardcore club sport are more desired. And these are the sorts of cars that are getting more inquiries from enthusiasts. So I can totally understand that. I'm just trying to show you, is it open? No, just try and block that so you can see. Yeah, very, very pretty car. Very, very pretty car. Beautiful. Uh, this was the first first 911, by the way, road car to rock centre locks. And these ones all round seem to be in pretty good condition. And it's worth, by the way, when you're going to look at cars that have centre locks, it's worth checking the condition of them because if you want new centre locks for your car, it's around about 250 quid a corner. So worth uh, worth checking that. So that presents beautifully and I love it. And we got 991.1. I was gonna have a butcher's at this. An S PDK. Is it a 2S? Yeah, 2S. Narrow bodied, therefore. Beautiful things, great dailies, can then turn the wick up if you're fast road driving. And we've got another 991 there. And then another 991.1 Carrera. So naturally aspirated or turbocharged, pick your poison really. Uh, these, I've said previously, for me, the, uh, the, the Gen 2 991, it's the first base car really that does everything. It's all the 911 you need. And again, I just think design wise, that's so pretty. Far prettier than a 992 in my humble opinion. I think that still looks brand new and absolutely box fresh. 
So that is the Toy Shop Tour here at Lakeside Classics, April 2024. Go and take a look on the website. That'll give you more details for all of these toys. If anybody would like to buy this for me, I would greatly appreciate it. If not, that Gen 2 997 GT3 will do nicely. So yeah, thanks very much for joining the uh, Toy Shop Tour at Lakeside Classics. Enjoy the rest of the week. Check out the channel for a load of awesome videos I've done recently, including a two-part road trip around Ireland. And I'll catch you soon. Cheers, guys. Take care.